of free will, suppression of free thought, and everything that you can talk of, which built for hardcore for terrorists. You know, the court, the Kahawa court, was built for terrorists. Who's in the committee? That's why they're taking us on Thursday to go and uh, take police. I won't talk much about the court issue for good reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, this is just but uh, continuation. Maybe how was the day in the hands of uh, police learning Maybe down here? Then? Yes, thank you very much for now. Thank you very much Maybe for now. Maybe a leader. I was the leader of the party. 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 I was the leader of the Sisi hatokuwa tunapiga kelele wala sisi si wenda wazimu tulikuwa tunapeleka vilio vya wananchi kama wenzangu vile ambavyo wamesema na matatizo ambayo yamezungumzwa na mheshimiwa Amina hapa haya mkuti mtu wa opposition peke yake matatizo haya hata wale ambao walikuwa wanatumika kuitwa mahaslas pia hao wanateseka makosa ambayo kwamba yanaendelezwa na serikali hii hatutanyamaza ile haki hatuioni Leo ma CS 50 wamewekwa CS 50 wamewekwa wakati mama mboga yule mambo wewe ndio utakuwa kwenye serikali hakuangaliwa. Ni wangapi kati ya wale ma CS ambao walitoka kwa mama mboga? Mm -hmm. Ile pesa ambayo budget ambayo imewekwa kwa hawa assistant ministers hii pesa hii yote ingefanya mangapi kwa yule mtu wa chini ambaye kwamba hajiwezi katika sahihi. Tuko na jukumu tulichaguliwa kutetea watu na tuko na jukumu kusimama kuongea ule uwasi watatuweka jela watatupigia tela gas hatutasimama hii haitaturudisha nyuma mpaka haki itendeke kwa mwananchi ambaye kwamba ni minyonge hilo mm. lazima lieleweke asante sana wana 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 wabunge wengine wamkuwa pamoja na wao na mlichaguliwa pamoja wale wabunge ambao kwamba walikuwa hawajafika ndio hao ambao umewaona na mheshimiwa Raila lakini sisi tulianza mapema kuna wale ambao walibahatika kuweza kuepuka sisi ya tukuweza kuepuka Saine tunajaribu kuwapatia sense Ndiyo wakati uo Huyu mama mweshmiwa Ele madharawa leo fanyiwa Ame shikwa matiti na mwanamuke mwanzake Askari Ame mweka makucha huku Nikaka nikashindwa Huyu ni lesbiana au ni kitu gani huyu mama Na nini po muuliza kwa nini unafanya mwanamuke mwanzake kama hivo Huyu mama nambia haijatosha utapata zaidi Nisere kaligani hii kutuka nayo Yes it was in the most disgraceful manner I've ever seen a Kenyan being handled like that. I've been in this country for some time. And I know how these police officers are. But the ones I've seen today, it was shocking. Mm -hmm. It was seriously shocking. It was in complete violation of the human rights. Father, I want to state it very clearly. It is wrong to arrest a member of parliament or a senator who is entering the house within the precincts. Within the precincts of parliament. It is wrong. Because where our offices are, that is where parliament is. And it is wrong for what they have done. Whoever gave them instructions to come and arrest members of parliament, it's a shame. And I want to say shame on you. All I can say is that whoever has mistreated us, we forgive him. We forgive those police officers who arrested us. But we would like to commend these officers here.
But I want us to understand that places don't make people. It is people that make places. Kenya will never make us. It is up to us to make Kenya. Mm -hmm. It is the Americans that made America. It is the Japanese that made Japan. It is up to you and me, the young people, to join hands with our leaders and make sure we bring the change that we need in this country. It is up to us to make this country. So let's come out. Asante, sorry. Chakula lazima bei yake iende chini. Hiyo ikienda chini at least wa Kenya wanaweza kuishi katika nchi. Kwa sababu saa hizi wa Kenya hawawezi kuishi kwa nchi yao. I'll give another chance to my colleague. Aongee. Asante. Asante sana. Mimi nataka niseme hivi ya kwamba serikali haijalishi nitia gas gapi zenye ambazo mumeweza kuzilipua leo. The ugonjwa tulionao leo hii ni kwamba bei ya maisha imepanda juu. So naiomba serikali na nawaambia kila siku nyinyi mutauza ti, mutarusha tear gas na wananchi hawatachoka. Kwa sababu at the end of the day mwananchi nyumbani ndio ananunua mfuko wa unga sima na mfuko wa sima bei iko juu. Ukienda nyumbani stima iko juu. Bei ya maji iko juu. Watoto wetu shule, wazazi CBC kila kitu kimepanda juu. So lazima tufate kile kidonda. Na kidonda si kuturushia sisi tia gas. Kidonda raisi shika usukani katika nchi hii na urudishe bei ya maisha chini kwa wananchi wako. Hivyo peke yake ndivyo ambapo vitawezekana. Bila hivyo leo ni sisi ndio umetushika. Lakini nataka niwaambie serikali ya Kenya kwanza kila tunapolala na tunapoamka popularity yenu inazidi kushuka na wananchi wanazidi kukasirika. Hilo namba mulitilie manani. Plans were arrested from their offices in parliament. KICC is an extension of parliament. Under the privileges act you cannot arrest a member of parliament from parliament. We shall be raising this issue with the Diplomatic and Privileges Committee and the international world. How can members of parliament be arrested from presence of parliament? Number two, the manner of arrest by the officers not domiciled in Kiambu Police Station raises a lot of issues. The officers of Kiambu Police Station I highly recommend them from their commanders downwards. They have handled these members of parliament with the respect and dignity of Article 22 and Article 23 of the Constitution. Dignity of every person must be upheld. So, I sincerely thank the police officers of Kiambu Police Station from the topmost commander to the lowest officer because they have understood the law. The third issue of substance is that my clients are going to be charged with an offense called attending unlawful assembly. That is a 1965 act, the Public Order Act. Still, the state is not aware that in 27th of August 2010, Kenya promulgated a new constitution. That constitution, we, all of us, including the police and the head of state and everybody, enacted Article 37, which says everybody has a right to demonstrate, to picket, on to settle what are purely political scores. We are seeing the country regressing to the dark old days. Dark old days of dictatorship, of, uh, of uh, suppression of free will, suppression of free thought, and everything that you can talk of, which is negative. Mm -hmm. And we want to assure Kenyans that these are things we are used to. And therefore, we are going to deal with them in the usual manner. Mm -hmm. Yes, we shall deal with them in the usual manner. Uh, the issues that Kenyans are raising out there, 
can never be swept under the carpet. Regardless of how many times you arrest people or leaders, the issues being raised out there will continue to be raised. And it doesn't matter what kind of force, what kind of... Uh, we shall circumvent the actions being taken to, uh, as Mwashimu has said, to Kahawa Court, because Kahawa Court is by law a court for terrorism. <laughs> so these members of parliament are now being taken to be terrorists. What image are we putting to the whole world when you have four members of parliament being taken to a terrorist court? How will foreigners take us that parliament is infiltrated by terrorists? Let some decisions be taken with caution because the consequences on this country is grave. Yeah. Lastly, we wish to thank the members of the fourth estate. You have been with us mm. since morning and you continue informing the public the way it is. Thank you. And as their lawyer, I will only stand by them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not in that. 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 I'